So hello, 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 and welcome. Good morning. Hello. Happy weekend. <laughs> I don't know what else. Um, but this is Julie with the Jewel Design, and here is a Sunday video. So we have our Sunday coffee. But of course, I'm recording this ahead of time. So we want the Sunday morning feel. Yeah, but it's not Sunday morning, because I don't get up in time. <laughs> not for 10 o'clock. I am not up and running fast enough to do that. But I did want to sort of chime in and jump in. And I wanted to work on what time is it okay um ooh, and we are short on that interesting um I wanted to work on this digital of uh, this book um this was the my porch prince uh, autumn kit for probably two plus years ago it's one of the first kits second kits I don't know I was making mine and I saw hers and I really liked it made it up did a great job of using stuff um but yeah, I didn't, like, I didn't distress all the page, like, I didn't do all the white stuff, edges I'm noticing, and I thought I'd be able to sell this, and I realized I am a lot farther, like, I need to do things, like, I just realized we had a white ramp that didn't work well, I have a lot of them, which isn't a bad thing, um, but sometimes when it looks too white, you can tell it's not old paper, right, and she has this great old book page feel, but here I am not really using it, so, like, these back page sides, I may not want to see white, I know a lot of stuff I did touch up with silver. Um, I was using this, I was using a silver. I don't know if I, if I have a hickory smoke. Well, I did work on the snowy winter pretty quickly. So yeah, I don't know. This might have been the first full year in, maybe two, three years ago, um, that I got it. And, you know, I put the whole kit together because I wanted something that wasn't mine. And I wanted just to play with something and get a feel for some ins and outs. And I've been sitting on it, and I haven't really done anything with it. I haven't written in it. I haven't really worked on it. So I had a few spots I definitely wanted to work on, and then, I don't know, I may put it aside again. Sounds bad, right? Put it back, put it away again. But this is the one time I definitely wanted to work on it with you guys, and then a couple areas to work with, and then, you know, the rest of it would just be me working on it as I go. Um, to start off with, we have one of our lovely uh, fabric clusters that we worked on on Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> it's been a busy, I've done a lot of stuff. So this is the one that I knew that like, color wise, the green's still a little off. She has a very interesting, it's not quite this tealy, but I thought close enough for, for whatever. And I had a few spots where I was using tea dyed paper towels and many other things. And I thought it'd be fun just to glue it on and like just as a, its own little thing. It's hiding, hidden behind this lovely, I don't know. I made it a like a fold out to tuck in an envelope. Right, I have an envelope. I put a little, made a little booklet out of it. Um, made a tiny little booklet. Put little stuff in it. Took her journal cards, things that were back, things that weren't backed. I don't know. I don't even remember how I came about it. But I think some of these cards, I went ahead and had the backings or whatever on them. So I just threw it together as a cute little book uh, with a tab and stuff. You know, put, put my crate word on it. So probably my second year in, or I got, I bought the kit and took me forever to get to it. I'm not sure which, but I had a lot of fun with it. Anyway, I put the little book in here, put it in one of our envelopes. And I, I see I put everything in silver. I touched everything to get, pick up more of this old color, this old sort of gray tint. I did everything in silver and my, my hickory smoked. So anyway, um, when I made this, I, you know, put these two together, whether I don't know they were supposed to be or not. That's probably what I did. Uh, front and back made a pocket out of it and put a hinge on it here so that I wouldn't you know we could hide whatever I needed to and you have this little guy where you can write on this but you can you know pull this out and look at something cute so anyway on this side we just have the tour of this paper and it's not really doing a lot it's not going very far so I figured we could definitely glue this one down um the third one did go in my book. It has a paper clip on it. I put a piece of paper on the back side and tucked in a, a um, paper clip into it so I could put it on a page. Um, I think I found a spot for it. So I'll have to show you guys later where I put it in my original three series, my three signature large, you know, family um, book, I'm calling it. So every started in 2020, fall of 2020. Um, which, did we go into COVID that year? I don't remember. Yeah, I went 2020, but I guess so. Because I started in, yeah, I started March of 2020, so yes. 
we were in COVID, so that was sort of weird. You know, here I am working on something, and I'm like, um, oh, it's you know, COVID year. What do we? What did we do? What? What fun things did we try? But all right, so I had that one, which I just gonna keep filling in until there's nothing left to fill in, and then I'll have like a couple years worth. This will be the third season, fourth season, the 2021, 20, 22. So the fourth season that I'll be putting information into that book. Um, updates and what did we do? Did I stick to tradition? Did I, you know, did I decorate on time? Did I, which we did. We, we did it Labor Day weekend. We started. I, th I was almost put it off and that Monday I was like, well, let me just get it started. And then poof, I was done. I was like, oh, this wasn't going to take that long. Plus we had a lot more to decorate, so area wise because we had other things going on so yeah it was like oh what are we gonna do okay so that was that I figured that's where I put this one the other one's going somewhere in the new kit which you'll see on Tuesday and then we have like I said the the third one um there's more browns and stuff they only had the two two of these pieces and I sort of think I figured it out I put like two st stamps in it we had three two of these and then um you know piece of paper and whatever so Anyway, some of these things here um, I wanted to work with is that this little baggie, I think came from like Barnes and Noble, and it I think is where it came from. Maybe I'm trying to figure out where I have it. Should hmm. I can't tell? Should have the other end somewhere. And that's that one. So we're getting there. That is so weird. It's so hard to tell. I'm like, where is the other half of this thing? Okay. I want to say I have it on the other side. See, here it is. And it's light and it's sort of airy. It's not a big deal. It has a cute little something in it. Um, it's where it was ripped. So I think it had a cookie in it from like Barnes and Noble or something. And so I was like, oh, wouldn't that be fun to have it in here and make something interesting just like this piece of paper, this little baggie I had here as a like sort of a goss, goss, gas, gosling, whatever. Ah, I lost it. There it is. But it was sort of thin. And it's like, well, if I want to put anything of substance in it, it's really not working well. Oh, I'm so tired of being warm everywhere. Okay, anyway. Um, so what I thought I'd do is a lot thinner than I thought. I did cut up the top to make it a little better. And I'm taking some of my wax parchment paper that I tea dyed, or what I call tea dyed. I, I literally just get a, um, what do you want to call it? Spray bottle. And I put I have tea in it that's been sitting there forever. And I just um, spray it, dry it. Uh, let it dry, sp splotch it, go back, do it again. Especially with the parchment paper was sort of cool. Now, oh, I don't want to go all the way in. I did realize I wanted to come out with that one a little bit. Shoot. Oh, you know what happens with... Oh, just a little bit. Wanted to stick out just a little bit, and I may have flipped this around. I may have wanted to go the other way. Shoot. But I've got to use it sort of as a lining. I want to sort of line the thing to sort of give the pocket a little bit more oomph. So that it won't tear as easy, it won't come apart as easy. Um, because I am putting the file folder pieces that go in this kit um, in here. So, how are we all doing this Sunday morning? Hopefully, you have caught up. Um, yeah, there was a Wednesday, and there's a Friday video, and there's Sunday, and then there'll be Tuesday, and I'm just I'm racking them in. I'm like day and night. Ooh, except that you can see all of that. Huh. Well, that's where the fabric tack may have been better. Shoot. I didn't even think about it. Well, I want to do that to decorate it, but now I'm wondering. <gasps> I don't know. Glitter glue is becoming slightly issuey, huh? Well, definitely strengthen, strengthen it up, but it's now all weird. Because it doesn't really absorb into the parchment paper. It's sticking on top. Huh. Hmm. I sit my coffee because my daughter made my coffee. Mm, she's missing a little extra creamer in there. All right, so here's the two file folders um, that were in the kit. They are more horizontal, so here, like you open it up, and she's got all kinds of cute papers in there. I like the word autumn right there. And uh, then there's, you know, more of a pumpkin y one. So, um, made those up, and I was just going to stick them in here just enough to where if you wanted to put more cards or more nick, you know. <laughs> not knickknacks but close right so I had this come up a little bit to the top so you could sort of see it as a ruffle but oh, I didn't put that on straight so now it's just this it's chaos first thing Sunday morning Ugh, 
my goodness. You know me. Oh, good lord. Here we go. Let's see if I can straighten this out just a little bit. That's not so bad. It's going to be rough no matter what we do. I mean, it was a baggie to begin with, so. All right, well, we're going to let it dry for a moment because I'm a little worried about that. I want to see it, how it dries and see what we're dealing with um, before I go gluing this on. Because if it's going to stay wet like that and we're going to see it, I mean, it's not bad, it's splotchy, but I feel like I need to put, like, something else be underneath it like lace or something over it so it sort of hides it you can see the stitch you can see the stitch the stitches mm -hmm. you can see oh, that's ripped um you'll be able to see the um, what do you want to call it the stripes but you won't see as much all the other fluff i do have what do i have in this one this one i think i have the i have the when i was using when i was using oh my gosh right i was using oh that's right <gasps> All that stuff where is it I could do some of this over it I did this sort of as a flap where is my stuff that was the other thing guys I realized I didn't have any of my fall things out I when I'm doing this one I don't have any of it out but I do have to go get that stuff so hmm. okay hold on one second so I couldn't get to everything but I could reach this that's all that mattered oh my goodness I'm gonna have to do that I'm gonna have to fork that out and figure it out before I get my next um Thing. I realize I really, as much as I love all my stuff, I need all my little extras um, to finish off my kits. So what if, because I don't like that, we use some, we definitely use some, <laughs> we're going to use some fabric tuck, and we're going to cover this up a little bit, maybe to hide some of those dots. But yeah, I just realized I am missing all kinds of fun things for my autumn stuff, which, of course, by the time you see this, it won't matter. I will have all of it out because the Friday video won't know, the, won't know the difference. But I'm working ahead, so. All right, so now I have to decide. Do I do it at an angle? Not really. I could do it. I really wanted just to center it sort of as a header piece. Yeah. I had it. That'll be fun. So maybe I will just we'll do it and we're just going to I'm gonna make this work. How are you all doing? I hope you are enjoying your Sunday morning. You've had a good weekend. Um man. My as I mentioned in Friday's video, we'll mention it in Friday's video. My youngest is doing color guard, which is the one thing her oldest sister was going to do. Um, but then realized she really wasn't super great at it. And it wasn't really like, she's like, well, it's fine. It's okay. But it's not really what I was like. It's not like super excited about doing it. I just tried it out because my friend really bugged me. And then, you know, timing wasn't great. And I don't think it really mattered. She could have done it. We given her something to do. But she was like, yeah. It's really not what I want to do. I tried out for my friend just to to say I'd try it out, and I was like, okay. Well, then her little sister is down the junior high, and she's got color guard. She's doing color guard. It's the flag tossing stuff. If you missed Friday's video, and um, yeah, it's all flag and toss flag or don't no, toss flag. Well, you do, I guess. You would throw the flags in the air. What am I saying? Um, toss the flags around and spin them around and you, you dance around on the field when the band does their thing and then you of course introduce and sort of decorate the band when they're out marching. That is how that works. So um, ugh. of course I got, finally got this thing working and I'm like no, I don't even know if I want to use it. Um, yeah so now until Christmas or at least in a Thanksgiving weekend. Um, they have high school, you know, they have the high school football game and they have the Vets Parade, Veterans Day Parade, and we do a Lights On Parade, which is our idea of a Thanksgiving Day Parade. But we do it the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Like, it's Thanksgiving and then two days later is our Lights On Parade. It's sort of what welcomes the Christmas season here in our little town. And so, really love it. Um, it is actually silver on the back side. It is almost. I mean, not that you would do silver, but you could. 
I just noticed that. That would have been pretty too, to pick up more of the silver based, but I mean, I'm glad I did the gold, but well, I'll have to keep that in mind. Huh. I can't believe I just now noticed that. Because I noticed the edges were doing something weird, and I'm like, I wonder why there's silver on the edge, and I looked at the back, and I went, nope, because the back is silver. Huh. All right. So yeah, we have, now we have Thursday practice, and Saturday practice, and Saturday events, and football, well, one football game, thankfully, only one, because she's only junior high, but it's crazy, people. All right, so there we go. We decorate up that. We sort of reinforced it. So it wouldn't be as thin. It's not cute on that side, which is sort of a bummer, but uh, again, I think this is going to become mine anyway. Maybe I'll hold on to it and then I'll, I'll keep enhancing it so I get an, once I fill up my original one, I'm going to have to start putting like copy dyed paper in places and filling up every card, but the cards I didn't back right. At the time, I didn't realize it. I went off with what she had and she didn't really have any light colored pages. And it was pretty bold and pretty bright, so it was really hard to, you know, write on any of the back of this. So, it's not quite the writey book I was hoping for. It doesn't mean I can't cover all the back of these things. But, okay, so that was my one of my big ones I wanted to do. We saw that we, we put, we glued this one on, you know, as a flip out to play with. This is all pretty again. And the last thing I want to do with you guys before I let you go tonight is, okay, I made these pockets back here. I think I mentioned it way back when. Um, to do the front cover, I had strips of color or strips of, of paper everywhere. Um, and when I did it, I did cut them sort of at a uh, angle. It reminds me very much of an art deco feel. And the way I cut them to fix the front and back, I had these sections that were glued together. So I used them as tucks and pockets. And so this back pocket, I had stuffed um, her envelope, but I hadn't done anything with it and, and just a card. So you know, the card's there. The envelope, I think we're going to turn it on its side, and that's cute. And when you open it, I don't know which way to go. Keep it this way in here, and when you pull it out, we'll do it that way. We're going to put a note. We're going to put a notepad right here. So that is what we're going to do. But it's things like that. I think I'm just going to go through it as time goes on, and I'm just going to keep um, finding little things to do with it. And definitely, as I'm working on the other two journals, if I come across ephemera or scraps or whatever I think we're just gonna um you know look to see what needs to be worked on in this side and and enhance it I know the time that came out I used exactly the kit as is it didn't do too much else to it the few cards here and there I started decorating but everything was sort of pretty the way it was and so I was like I didn't really do anything to it so I sort of have a yellowy green one and I have a coffee dyed so I think we're gonna vary these and I think we're gonna um, we're gonna put it together we're gonna Staple it and then glue it under this tab. And we'll just leave the bottom tab the way it is for now. I'm not going to do anything with it. But this way it just sort of opens up. And we have this lovely um, you know, note, notepad right here. So that's good. Yeah, it is ugh, um, the day I'm, oh, I'm, char I'm doing this. I actually got to 82 degrees today. And I drove, just, drove around just enough today that my car is you know, warm. So it warmed up the garage. And I turned my fan on. Sorry, guys. I got to turn it back on. I thought I could do it. Thought I was starting to get cool in here, and it's not. I have the uh, side door open, but there's nothing to really pull in the heat. It keeps the garage from getting like super heated, I guess. But yeah, I don't have any way to really get the heat out of my garage. I know later, I know in a couple months, I'm gonna be like, oh yay, the car's in the garage, yay, some heat. Because oh my god, I'm gonna be freezing out here. But it's easier almost to put the heater at my feet than it is to try to put a fan quiet enough at my backside and not make a mess out of everything. That's the problem. So I think I went ahead and did the silver on the outside, but I am going to put some, um, what do you want to call it? Photo, photo ink on the inside flap. Since we're going to see everything and there's not really anything not being seen because we are sort of, you know, deconstructing this. We're not keeping it as an envelope. Keep it more of a flappy thing. I'll have to see what else I come across I have and I, I realize there's a whole horde of things down below, including, I think, pages, papers. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, right? I didn't think I'd have anything left after so many journals that I've made. I wouldn't think I'd have anything left over, but apparently I do. Who knew, right? I probably have scrapbook paper, too, somewhere for all I know. All right, so the only downside about just about copy dye and stuff is when you cut these, um, you lose that all the way around the edge. 
which irritates me. Let me guess, I'm too, oh, there we go, I'm way up here, okay. Um, you lose this beautiful distress, you end up cutting it down. So I'll probably flip these around and make it work, but it is what it is, right? What can you do? So let's go about here, because I really don't want to. Um, and how far do I need to go? I might turn these around. I see. how far over do I need to go? How low can you go? I'm a little farther in. Mm, I know, my favorite, my famous, uh, because I don't want to cut. Mm, do I clean cut it? Sure, why not? I don't want to, I want to keep a long strip on the bottom if I can. Maybe, I don't know. Anything that's not perfect, I can tuck underneath. But I'm trying to see. Like I want, like I want any more. Um, what's the word? Scraps. I think that's my biggest thing. I don't want any more scraps. But I am definitely behind schedule. Um, I did not get as many. I did only got the blue autumn and the autumn gathering kits done this year. I did not. I did. Ah! I just cut paper. Eek! At least it's tied. D T died. Um, yeah, I did not. I did so many autumn last year. I felt like I felt like I did so many autumn pieces last year. To add to what I already had in the slot. Oh my goodness. I feel like it. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't as many, much as I thought, right? And I could make a smaller piece on top. I think I'm going to use that elsewhere. Oh, right? They're big enough where I can use them in a different, different way. I sometimes I like to make tiny little books, so we'll do it that way. So I'm going to go every other-ish. Oops. Oh, that one's light. Wow. Well, oh, that one's really light. Oh, on the back side, yeah, you can't really tell. And that one's struck smack the middle. So you can sort of tell there's a difference. It gets lighter as you get to the bottom. Huh, isn't that cute? All right, so let's use our handy-dandy Tim Holtz Mini because that is always great to make sure everything stays in place. And then, you know, I glue it to the thing and I'm not, you know, worried about it. Tim Holtz. The Itty Meanie. Gosh, the amount of things I have. And it's not, I mean, I have minimum compared to some. I have lots compared to others and everything in between. And I just feel like, oh my gosh. All right, so I just want to make sure that this this closes, right? And then, then that covers there. I almost might put Velcro there. I'm debating about putting a Velcro there because then it'll stay closed. And yeah, I, I don't know if anybody else has done this. I went to go try to de like slam, <laughs> um, what's the word? Uh, glue down my bottle and I went downward and so that tiny little skinny part of this lovely glitter glue, yeah, I shoved it into the cap. I got it out the first time, got lucky, second time not so much. So when that gets gunked up, it gets gunked up. So I think I'm gonna put a Velcro right there. I really think I do. I think I wanna put a Velcro. Pull it out, it's a little, it's not a bad thing that way you can sort of tell. Fold it and go, oh, there's a notebook here. Look at that. More writing space, which we're gonna need. So let's see if I have any more Velcro pieces. Aha. Mm -hmm. Well, it's at least been fun trying to do some little stuff. I guess I glued that down to something. Oh, well, it's still sticky, still works. We're just gonna make it work, right? Bummer that I'm doing it on, ooh. Oh, I must have done it to something and then decided to take it off. Wow, or I dropped it. Sometimes I drop it onto something I'm not supposed to. Let's see if this will just help it reinforce it. And I'm gonna put it up here. Oh, maybe not that one go here. That makes it a little slipper than I expected, actually. All right, we'll do it that way. Mm, if it comes apart, then I can add more glue. There we go. Yeah, it looks like I was having, I was having some technical difficulties. Yeah, that's why I had it the way I did. There's always something. Oh. But Anyway, I got only got the two done, and I'm playing catch up because I'm trying to make something out of both of those, and not maybe so much to sell. Like if I can get them done a lot quicker than I did last year. Last year, the last round I made the um, my vintage uh, autumn one. I did make a journal, but not, it wasn't ready till November first, and that was sort of cutting it late. And so um, 
no one really enjoyed it. So this year, though, I did find, you know, I've had it up on and off all year, and so finally someone was like, oh, I need an autumn journal. So I like that. That works nicely. keeps it closed. Isn't that cute? Super simple, super easy. I mean, I can go back in and decorate more, but it is a notebook. It is what I turn an envelope into a notebook. Um, if anything else, I could decorate more here if I decided I want to or something comes up and I have extras. But I think what I like is the fact that it is a journal card and a you know an unexpected envelope that has a dual purpose. Ta-da! But I have these cute little notes. I turn these, I think they're supposed to be, yeah. I'm not, yeah, I think that's what they were supposed to be with some kind of fold down notebook. And I took papers that I had left over corners and made itty bitty notebooks out of them. And then I just used the, oh yeah, I just used the um, paper clip to keep it in place. But it's folded well enough at this point that it doesn't really need to stay closed. So there we go. Like these guys, you know, I have a little tab on it, but that's all I did. Um, so I feel bad. I don't know. I know at one point we were really nitpicky about you guys, us, you know, everybody who bought stuff did more than just print it out and sh shove it in. Now don't be wrong. I, I, I decided how to tuck this, how to rearrange it. You know, this is maybe a journal card that I make. Like, I use different journal cards. I cut it at an angle. I made a new pocket out of it, put, you know, a large journal card in it. That wasn't one that I think was provided for us. I think I made that one. Again, journal card on top of a bag, like, but the journal cards that are in it aren't overly decorated, right? The pockets are, but not everything that goes in it. Like, whether this was given to us or whether I made it, because I don't remember. This one was stacked. This one was given to us, and I just popped it all out. Ooh, this is when I probably didn't have glitter glue, or over time, it just doesn't matter. Nice thing is these are all, um, yeah, they are all, what's the word, tabbed. They have a gusset on them to make them thicker, but I may have had problems with that, knowing me. I'm still pretty new to figure all this out. I think I had two, you had two gussets and then one that, oh, they're all gusseted. They're just not holding very well. They're not holding very well. And that may, be, that may just be me and my inability of knowing what I was doing at the time. I'm all, okay, so we want to make sure. And some of these pieces came for other things that I was working on, so. Well, let's pull that out and make sure this gets glued down before I glue that in there and can't get it out. Put that back up there. So yeah, I didn't do a lot. You know, I just went ahead and added simple things to things, but may have made some things, may, may have been exactly what she suggested. Like this just goes here. So sooner or later, I got to put something in it. This was cute. This was a, I don't know if this was a double, I think I made this one into a double pocket because I wanted something different. Can't really. T I couldn't tell you for sure. I don't know. It's thick enough. I made a corner pocket just like this one. I decorated up. Took her thing. Took some pieces that I had from something else or from her. Oh yeah, I think I went. I went here, right? Decorated it up as I was supposed to, or tried to at least, right? And put it in here. So, eh, it's fifty-fifty. This one I folded it down. Folded it down, covered it up, made a flip, made it look like it was all tucked. I don't know. Had a lot of little fun. I think this was a cutout from the, this was the inside of the envelope. And um, that scallop, I turned into a pocket. I think I did it twice. So I was like, oh, let's use those corners. This is cute. This was, I think, provided from her. And, um, yeah. Or it was, oh, you know, or it was a challenge. And I saw how you, you know, take a one piece of paper and you fold it. You fold it up, you fold it in, all that fun stuff. Yeah, you folded it up, you folded it in, tucked it down, and so you could have all these multitude, multiple of multitudes of pockets. And I put all the different cute little tags, just the tags, in here. Like that one I sort of decorated. This one I just put something on the top. Everything's backed, but not really hard to write on. So there you go. But yeah, like the paper I decorated up. I even put the this in there so that we could I glue I actually remember to glue it down so it would stay closed so I was stuck I think it was a shabby dabby doodah she's the only person I can think of who, who I was watching at the time shabby or gale to that one that I just took her thing wrapped it to the back tucked some stuff in it like just had fun with it some things are you know as expected others may not have been but it's cute for what it is it's definitely you know big old pocket you use it twice you know because you're Again, folding it up, 
tucking stuff into it. It was fun. It was great. I don't even know if she still has this kit out and maybe in a set of, you know, archive about to be archived. But again, you know, the corner piece of the back backing paper, you know, yeah, I mean, it mm, does sort of show the work, but this is my Porsche Prince, which I didn't think about that until afterwards, which now I could put some kind of like lace down here and hide that. Like if I really wanted to, I could find ways to fix all that. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to get on quickly, show you where I put our, um, you know, decorated up this pocket to make it a little stronger, make it, make it work for me. Right. Uh, put our fabric cluster squares that we made on Wednesday. There they are. There's one of them, right? You'll see the other ones later or earlier, depending how you, oh, later. Cause that's later. Um, and then we did a, our cute little, you know, turned an envelope into a notebook, which I, you know, I've got to a point where my note, my envelopes do not, my personal envelopes do not have to be just an envelope. Um, I love making notebooks and uh, our notepads and other things out of them. I really do. I've done it multiple times. We've opened it up, tucked them in, made them into something else. And in this case, I love the idea of the little, the good size little notepad. Um, and the shape works really well. So really stoked about it. And, um, you know, makes me, it makes me happy when I can turn it into something else. And it's so cute. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for watching. This is probably the only run. Unless I come up with something really, really cute and really fun um, throughout October, I will jump on real quick and show you. But there is our Sunday morning autumn edition. And we are going to keep working right along on all this beautiful autumn stuff so I can get them done and maybe even out to you guys first of October. Wouldn't that be awesome? So love you all. Thank you so much for watching, liking, loving, commenting, hitting notifications, following me everywhere from Instagram, Facebook, Crafters Visual Design, um, my personal page if that works best for you for, for you know, just every day. Um, me and a jewel design. A jewel design has a crafters of a jewel design private group, and it has Jolene Burt um, due to a mishap of miscommunication. My jewel design Facebook page is not working as planned. Eh, why not, right? But that's okay. Everything's there. Links and all for shops and whatnot. So you can find me, follow me, love me, like me, get inspired, I hope, and share your inspirations with me. And uh, we'll continue to trug along into all the lovely holiday seasons. So talk to you all very soon. Love you. Bye-bye.